Hey guys, Donnie Bryant with tip 1.5, uh, touching again on the point that I made in the last video, uh, which was about clarity. Uh, let me let me use clarity in a different way. Copywriting should be transparent, as in clear. You can see clear through it. Uh, it should not call attention to itself. It should simply put on display uh, the product or service that you're trying to uh, present. It should be a display window, uh, not the display itself. And a lot of times, again, we like to be clever or we like to say, my, uh, my sentences are so great. You know, look at how great a writer I am. And that's not the point. Uh, Leo Burnett is quoted as saying, uh, you don't want your customers to say, that's one heck of an ad. You want them to say, that's one heck of a product. And where can I buy it? That's actually a paraphrase. So forgive me, uh, anyone associated with Mr. Burnett. Uh, but the point is is very clear. You don't you don't want someone to say that was a great ad. Who wrote the ad? You want to say, where can I buy that thing that you you just won my heart with? You've got my attention and pulled my desire in your direction. And now where can I satisfy that desire? So that's one point five. Clarity as transparency. Uh, we have to use our language in a way that just sounds like plain talking. So the story is communicated to us directly rather than uh, seeming like we're reading. We want it to seem like it's information is just flowing to us. A good writer will do that to you, whether it's copywriting or fiction writing or, or, or nonfiction writing. Uh, you'll just be receiving it and, and it's, it's fluid and, and it doesn't take a lot of effort. And that's the idea. As the writer, we got to do the hard work of making reading easy for the reader or you know listening easy for the listener so keep that in mind clarity it means we got to be specific and clear as to our meaning and clarity meaning transparency as in just get the, give the message and don't try to get fancy and don't try to call attention to your language uh, that's it see you next time